How to make classic. Red velvet cake with cream cheese. Frosting. Red velvet cake is a southern favorite, especially for celebrations. Today, we will make a rich, moist red velvet cake topped with luscious cream cheese frosting. Let's get started. For the cake, two and a half cups, 320 grams, all-purpose flour, two cups, 400 grams, granulated sugar, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon cocoa powder, one teaspoon salt, one cup, 240 milliliters, vegetable oil, one cup, 240 milliliters, buttermilk, room temperature, two large eggs, room temperature, two tablespoons red food coloring, one teaspoon white vinegar, one teaspoon vanilla extract. For the cream cheese frosting, one cup, 230 grams, unsalted butter, softened, two cups, 450 grams, cream cheese, softened, four cups, 480 grams, powdered sugar, sifted, one teaspoon vanilla extract, pinch of salt. Step one, preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Grease and lightly flour, two nine-inch round cake pans. Line the bottoms with parchment paper for easy removal. Step two, prepare the cake batter one. In a large mixing bowl, sift together. The flour, sugar, baking soda, cocoa powder, and salt. Set this dry mixture aside. Two, in a separate bowl, whisk together. The vegetable oil, buttermilk, eggs, red food coloring, vinegar, and vanilla extract until well combined. Three, gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet mixture, mixing gently with a spatula or hand mixer until the batter is smooth and fully combined. Be careful not to overmix, as this can make the cake dense. Step three. Bake the cake one. Divide the batter evenly between the prepared cake pans. Two, bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Three, once baked, let the cakes cool in their pans for 10 minutes. Then carefully turn them out onto a wire rack to cool completely before frosting. Step four. Make the cream cheese frosting one. In a large bowl, beat the softened butter and cream cheese together until light and fluffy. Gradually add the sifted powdered sugar, one cup at a time, beating on low speed until well incorporated. Three, add the vanilla extract and a pinch of salt, then increase the speed and beat for another minute until the frosting is smooth and creamy. Step five. Assemble the cake one. Place one cooled cake layer on a serving plate or cake stand. Spread a generous layer of frosting on top. Second, place the second cake layer on top and frost the entire cake, using a spatula to smooth out the sides and top. Three, for a decorative finish, you can use a piping bag to create swirls or borders, or simply garnish with a few crumbled cake crumbs or chopped pecans. Conclusion. And there you have it. A beautiful classic red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. Perfect for birthdays, holidays, or any